guys, welcome back, week seven of our director's course. Oh my goodness me, how time is flying. Um, as always, I wanna start with some woohoo shout outs for the awesomeness that is you guys. I wanna give a massive shout out to Jess R. Jess, you're gonna to have to give me lessons on how to say your name when I come to Australia because I still can't pronounce it. Congratulations, a promotion to star consultant. I believe you hit lead last month and it's star this month. Girl, that is the way it's done. Um, from star, you know, it's only another short uh, seven and a half thousand GWV all the way to director. But if you keep on working it, add to your team and sell like you are doing, you're gonna do really well. I also wanna congratulate Talia, who has promoted to lead consultant. I'm checking my notes down here if you wonder what I'm doing. And has added four consultants to her team this month. That is awesome. And you know why Talia does this? Because every day she sets herself a daily goal and she goes out to achieve it. And that adds up to her weekly goals and her monthly goals. And of course, her overall picture is to be a director very soon. Well done really proud of you guys and I want to give a shout out to all of you guys that are over 500 PRV already um that is the level you need to do if you want to get paid on your team at, at your team rank so Jess congratulations Amanda McCarthy Kylie Talia and Stacy well done guys um getting that 500 month after month after month is a really critical part of being a direct because that is when you know you're going to get paid on your team so well done, guys. And I know the rest of you will all have it in the bag by the end of the month. Okay, week seven. I want you to, of course, read chapter seven of Mary's book. Um, we're talking about walking, as we would say, walking the walk. Uh, as Mary would say, walking the talk. And I'm still not sure which one I would go with. But it's all about asking others to do what you do it's all about being an influential leader and it's all about what we always talk about which is you've got to lead by example um i genuinely think that this is one of the things that scott and i can pride ourselves on we do lead by example we do religiously sell every single month we um put out the borrow bags we do the parties etc you guys know that we recruit and train a lot of new consultants monthly that is how we work our business so I do think we lead by example, and that will be the key to your success is to be able to emulate that. Um, and Mary talks about being the light to other people. Um, and being the light is one of the key points of our Sensi Spirit as well. If you look at the five stars that make up Sensi Spirit, the light is the last one. And that's when you have, you know, created childlike wonder, you are an optimistic person, you create connection, love and kindness within your team, you are hopeful about everything in your life, you are most definitely a victor and never a victim. And that makes you a shiny bright light to other people because they want to be like you because they see that your life is getting better and they want to follow you. Um, and we know that we're not always big shiny lights we know that we all have issues but it's about striving to be that light to other people so that is what chapter seven is really all about um it says here to concentrate on your teaching your team income generating activities so often when we become directors we can get very bogged down in managing the team and training and and you know Ooh, look at me i have my great big new title and that's fantastic you can take your foot off the gas you can stop doing what it is that brought you to the success and mary says that you need to to teach your team to do what it is that you did to gain that success and if you're going to be an influential leader you have to continue to do it. So concentrate on income generating activities. So that would be having parties, giving out borrow bags, um, making sales, however you can do this and by building your team and pardon me, training your team to do the same thing. Um, Mary's very clear. The more hours that you put into your business, the faster you're going to promote. And I would say as long as you're doing income generating things, if you just spend hours and hours doing all the admin side of things or putting, you know, pretty patterns on things, you are not going to move ahead. Um, you know, you can have a full time job and be a sensory director. I know enough of them. 
In fact, the majority of Sensi directors are not like Scott and I, where we are full time Sensi. They are um, not that fortunate. They are still working jobs and having kids and doing all the other things and doing Sensi. And they do that by being organized. Um, and Mary gives some really good tips in chapter seven, and I want you to go through and digest all of them. Um, she gives six tips, six. Um, I picked my my top three that I think are really important. Um, and the first one is about managing your time. When you become a good time manager, I think you can put, you can stretch the, the time that you have that you spend on Sensi. So if it's an hour, if that hour is a total power hour, if it's Facebook's off, Facebook time talking to your team is not considered working, by the way. Um, I know it is for some of us, but it is not working. So, you know, Facebook's off, the phone is off, the kids are packed away in bed, the husband's packed away in front of the telly with a beer, whatever it is that you have to do, take yourself off to a hotel. I did that the other day, I got a lot done. It was very productive. Um, whatever it is you have to do to have your power hour, power two hours, however long you need, do it. There are some great trainings on being organized and how to be very time organized. And you can find those in your training tab as well. And you can Google as well. There's loads and loads of stuff on time management and power hours. Remember, you're self-employed, so you do have to do a lot of your training yourself as well. So, yeah, I love what Mary says about having a schedule and a calendar for your business. It's very, very important. Um, what else does she talk about? Um, working regular hours. Now, you guys can get hold of Scott and I pretty much most hours of the day. Um, that is because those are the hours that we work. I, I would say that some of you have probably noticed we don't respond to your messages as quick as we would previously have done. And that is because we will have certain hours now where we are on Facebook working and certain hours where we were off Facebook. Um, we've even started to close the chat facility down so that people know that we're genuinely offline. Um, and I would say that would really, really help you guys. Um, try and close off your chat and then you can really get your work done. So work regular hours, let your team know what hours you are available for, you know, general chit chat and, you know, Facebook questions and things like that. Um, and we shared that post about what they should do when they're looking for information. You guys should share that with your team as well. Let them know, um, you know, that, you know, Sunday afternoon is family time or, you know, Saturday night is hubby time. You don't have to work all the hours of the day. Um, and finally, um, walking the talk, as Mary says, that is that is my other top of her six tips. That's my top third tip that she's put. Um, and by that, she means that she wants you to be your own best customer. You know, you're selling um, amazing fragrance candle products and you're selling most of you guys in Australia have all the laundry products, you have the buddies and everything. You guys should be you know, wearing the clothes that smell of the gorgeous laundry products. I know Scott and I, whenever we can get hands on them, use them. Um, you know, giving the kids buddies, um, giving buddies as Easter presents and things like that instead of, you know, filling them up with chocolate. Having warmers on in your home and, you know, making it obvious what you do. Um, so be your best customer, but also um, be the very best sensory consultant that you can be for other people to see, be the light, be a good example. So, you know, believe in your business. Don't be one of the negatives who are slacking it down. I saw an absolute corker today from one um, supposed shining star of a consultant who wrote, I have a long list of warmers I tell my customers not to buy. It's like, really? Why would you have a list of a, it's not your choice, and B, why would you diss the product? You may think you're giving great customer service saying, well, I don't particularly like that warmer, so buy this one. But actually what you're saying is that you have doubts over the product and you're selling a product you doubt in. It's really a bad sales message. Take it from me. It didn't read well and her sales won't be good from it. Don't slag the business down. We always say, if you have a problem, come direct to Scott and I. Don't take it to the team page. That is not a place for your personal problems or your gripes with other consultants or anything like that. That is a place for positivity, support, love, kindness, and connection. Come to Scott and myself. Um, 
because we can help you with that problem and help you to put things into perspective and deal with any matters that you might come up with okay um turn up to everything you know you should be making every effort to go to convention if you want to be leaders there should be no reason why you will not be attending your um conventions either in london or in sydney and if you know considering scott and i come in there's no reason you shouldn't be there <laughs> um so attend everything and support everyone um i don't get along with everybody in sensi um it would be impossible to get along with absolutely everybody but i will always be clapping and supporting other people when they speak even if it's someone i personally am not a fan of you know always be there always be supporting other people always be seen to be doing it don't be selective and you know when such and such comes on and speaks and you think they're an absolute divvy go out and hide in the hallway because that's not a good example that does not make you the light that makes you a petty person and we all have to fight against the petty person inside us from time to time even me um aim for all of your incentives you know Matt, this is what mary's talking about you need to walk the talk you need to be the best example of a sensory consultant that your team can see aim for all those incentives for a start off as i've told you repeatedly they are a reward for simply growing your business and they are a fun reward as well um and it shows your team that things can be achieved that you're not some kind of miracle worker especially when we have people like jody who's also earned the trip as well and next year we want to see more of our consultant team making the trips and taking it seriously we now have the options to go to convention all expenses paid we have the chance of product credit or we have the chance of a foreign holiday as well so you are given loads and loads of chance and really we want to be seeing people aiming for that because that is what inspirational leaders do and that's the leader you want to be um and finally she says and i would have to agree the pace of the leader determines the pace of the pack um the more you put in uh the better your results the more you recruit um the more your team will do it is impossible to have a lazy team because even if the team you've got right now aren't performing the newbies that you bring in and imbibe with your positive can do woohoo attitude they're going to follow suit yeah so they're going to be even if the pack you've got right now isn't perfect everybody else is going to um scott and i can see that from what's gone on you know in the last what 20 odd months of our team because we're cranking it they crank it too and it's a wonderful team okay i'm going to post um what we call a tracker and this is to help you guys to organize your business better so i want you to fill it in for the next week um and list the all of the activities that you do in a day for your sensi business and i want you to consider how many of them are actually income generating and how many of them are just pretty picture drawing wasting time faffing on facebook not really going to make you any money try and cut those ones out so fill it in for the next week and then come back and share it with me and let's have a look at where you are spending your time within your business so that's really it for me go away read chapter seven it is of course as always a mine of very good information from somebody who led the direct sales world for many many years in her business um so yeah that's it from me i did have something else to say but my baby brain has kicked in uh you know we are always here to support you that was it guys remember what i said you need to be a star consultant by the end of april some of you are going to be hitting it some of you really need to get your skates on we want you all to come along with us to the completion of this director's course and it is in no way a judgment of you if you don't hit the start and then we have you back on the course perhaps in august or september it just means it wasn't quite the right time but i think there are some of you that could really really put a rocket under things and achieve the star promotion and stay the length of this course because you are all to me very inspiring women and you are all inspirational leaders so believe in yourself and um speak to you soon guys bye for now <laughs>